What is up guys, it's your boy Cypher, and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best kept secrets inside of Logic. So I've got this melody that I'm working on, and right now it's pretty simple, it's just a piano with a few other instruments that come in, and I really want to take it to the next level with some vocal chops. So most people already know about Logic's Apple Loops, and these are some of the best loops that you can get for free, and you can also categorize these based on what you're looking for. So we'd want to go to vocals, but if you take a listen, these aren't really the vocals that I'm looking for to add in the background of this melody. And what people don't know is that there's actually another entirely different sample library that comes with Logic. And to access that, all you want to do is open up an instance of Alchemy. And what I've done is I've gone to file and initialized it to get rid of everything. Then you just want to come over here to import audio you have access to this entire library of sounds. These are basically just a bunch of different one-shots that you can use and import into your synthesizer to use as an instrument. But we can also use this as a sample library since they're all different WAV files. And so I come over here to the Alchemy samples and go down to Vocals. I usually use the Vocal Phrase section. And then you can pick any of these and go to any of these folders and just listen to them. And these are more of the kinds of vocal chops that I'm looking for. So I'm going to find something I like. I think that sounds pretty good. So what you want to do is just click it, hold it, and then drag it over to your project window like that. And now you have it imported into your project. I'm going to find one more that I like and just drag it in real quick too. And then we can close out of Alchemy and we don't need that anymore. And now we can take a quick look and listen to this. And that doesn't really sound good because it's not in the same key as our, our melody. So we actually have to go in and edit the pitch manually to fix that. And it's also not lined up perfectly because this isn't an app loop, it's just an audio recording. So I'm going to line it up how I want it right now, so let's just take a quick listen. So I really like how that sounds, and what we need to do is just fix up the timing ever so slightly. So I'm just going to select both of those and double click. We want to open up the Flex Editor, and I'm going to make sure we're set to Polyphonic. And I'm just going to take this edge, and when I get the cursor to look like this, I'm going to drag it to about there, so that's the length of our first phrase. This one I'm going to make it exactly one bar as well. And then wherever these dashed gray lines are, I want to click them, and drag them perfectly onto the grid just so that it's lined up how I want. And you want to listen as you're doing this to make sure that it sounds how you want. So that one comes in a little later than I want it to, so I'm actually going to drag it in even more like that. So I really like how that sounds, so I'm just going to select both of these and press Ctrl B to bounce it in place. And now I'm going to double click it again, and this time when we open up the Flex Editor, we're going to open up Flex Pitch. So now we can play around with the tuning of our sample to make it fit our melody better. So I'm going to select everyone, set the pitch correction to 100, and I already know that we're in the C natural minor scale, so I'm going to quantize it real quick. And that doesn't sound good, so I'm going to drag these down to C because I already know how the melody should be played out. And this is just going to be trial and error for you to get it to fit how you want. You can really just play around with this and completely change the melody of the original sample that you dragged in and make it completely unique. And I'm going to stick more to how it was originally saying and just make sure that it fits into the key of our melody.
So I really like how that sounds. And one thing I like to do when I'm working with vocal chops is also to play around with the foreman. So you want to just select everything with Command A, and then come to the bottom right of one of these bars, and then click it, and either drag it up or down. I like to drag it down. And it just really changes the tone of that vocal chop. So I'm just going to select that and bounce it again with Control B. I'm going to drag this down, and then I'm going to press Command F to open up the flex window like that. Turn it on and make sure it's set to polyphonic. I'm going to duplicate it two more times, and then holding Option, I'm going to left click and drag this to duplicate it. And this way I can create three different versions of this, a high version, a medium version, and a low version. I'm just going to come up here to the transpose setting, transpose it up 24 semitones, and you can hear that it's sounding a lot higher pitched, and I'm just going to heavily EQ this to get it to sound how I want. And then what I'm going to do is add some reverb as well to make it just sound a little nicer. And we want this to really fit into the background. And now what you can do is just turn these all on and layer them however you want, wherever you want. So I'm going to mess around with this some more until I get something I like, and I'm going to play the final beat for you when it's all done. 